As much as fans miss live basketball, they'll also miss the show inside the show. A series of performances and giveaways geared to pumping up the game night experience. Kemba moves the ball on the court, but in this passageway, she is the floor general. My name is Carly Lenihan and I am the manager in live events for the Boston Celtics. Every night we have to entertain over 18,000 fans and we need to make sure that that night is special for them and that they want to come back. Two hours before game time, Lenahan and Jake Wendling, Celtics Director of Game Presentation, are upstairs running through the halftime game plan. And that will take us to the 10 second countdown. Communication is definitely the biggest part. We have people on wireless headsets all over the arena. And we have an amazing team. One key member of that team, Marina Ortega, who choreographs and runs the Celtics dancers. Four, five, six, seven, eight. The road to a parquet performance is intense. This job is part-time, but full-time commitment, as we always say. There's so many different components that go into it. It starts with a three-day audition. Even returning dancers need to earn a spot. Team members rehearse three times a week for months to perfect routines that may only be performed once in front of an audience that didn't come to see them. How many of you girls are full-time students? During the day, I work at an immigration law firm in downtown. <laughs> and then in the night, I come here and I put on my outfit. It's kind of like my little Superman cape and I transform. Whatever their day jobs, when these young women arrive here, they are part of the Celtics family. How many people think we're going to win a championship? <laughs> Meanwhile, across town in the Celtics training facility, the green team takes flight. Once just promotional t-shirt tossers, this squad now has skills, says team manager Eric Bacheo. It's evolved quite a bit over the years and much more emphasis is focused on our skills, our acrobats, our gymnastics. It's a lot more elaborate. All-star cheerleader Jocelyn Saber travels up to four hours from Connecticut to be a part of the team. I drive a lot. <laughs> Boston's favorite leprechaun, Lucky, leads the dunk team dubbed the Jet Blue Flight Crew. The newest member, Betsy Rafeo, is shaking rims and breaking a barrier. I'm really excited to be the first female on the Celtics dunk team. There's two other females in the NBA, and I'm just ready to show the girls that you can do this too. One and a two. Fast forward back to game day at TD Garden. Before fans arrive, the Celtics dancers are putting the finishing touches on their opening routine. Here we are, and the music is behind us. You feel the energy oh in here. Gosh. So who's your favorite player? I've got 18 of them. Spoken like a 13-year veteran, but for rookies like Mary Idell, this is all new. I am so excited. A little nervous, but only because I care. So I am so ready. As the green team waits for their turn on the floor, every moment is another opportunity to practice. Right now we are backstage. It's a little bit of behind the scenes look on where we all get ready. In the center of it all, Lenahan, the event manager, keeps her eyes on the clock. We work a lot. We say that sometimes we see each other more than we see our families, but it's the Celtics family. As the green team takes the floor, we meet up with a longtime member of the Celtics family who absolutely loves what he does. What was it like playing with Larry Bird? First thing, Larry Bird played with me. If you're surprised by that response, then you don't know Cedric Maxwell. Dippin' Dots and Pepsi. You mix those two together, man. It's like rocket fuel to your mind. And you might say anything. As a player, Max talked the talk, but also walked the walk. His number in the rafters, testament to that. Now he teams with Sean Grandy as the voices of Celtics Radio. Sean has every number, every situation. How many kids they have, the wife, I, I don't want to know that. All I want to know is if, if they can play or not and what they do on the court, and that's my job. So we fit together well because of that. And there's another thing that he knows, Chronicle. When you go out and you get a moose and you go to Moose Burgers <laughs> and you're up in Maine or, or Vermont or all these great places in New England, uh -huh. Chronicle takes you there. Are you trying to step on my territory here? Whoa, whoa, girl. <laughs> <laughs> Leave that to the professionals. <laughs> In the tunnel, as halftime approaches, the dancers wait patiently as Lenahan preps the featured performer. The last shot is up, Max makes the call, and finally, it's time. The performance is a huge success. 
Last up this evening is Betsy, our female flight crew member, making her debut. She nails it. We kind of stay in the shadows and like to watch everything go on and just kind of knowing you had a little bit of a part in that. <laughs> 